Hello and welcome everyone to this week's COT Review. I'm Thomas from COTBase.com. Today we're going to have a look at the 43rd COT Report of 2016. And as usual, we're going to start off with the changes in commercial position. So here we go. As you can see, we've got the Chicago wheat on top of a list with a 35% change in commercial positions. You can see the change size over here. Uh, it's definitely larger than average. But if you look at the chart, we do see similar changes quite often. This is, of course, a bullish COT chain signal uh, that may affect prices in the next couple of days. If we jump over to the five years chart, you can see how extreme this market has become. You can see that we are still much closer to bullish COT extreme levels. Of course, not surprisingly, after having a long uh, lasting decline in the market. Uh, so we've reached these um, price levels and we, of course, have had a, a bullish extreme for quite some time now. So basically we're moving towards these bullish extreme levels again and as we do so I wouldn't be surprised if we see uh, the continuation of this uh, this decline. So um, nevertheless I think it's important to state that the stress levels in this market is still very very high and that in the long term we should be expecting a major change in the trend. Okay, our next market will be the S&P 500. Uh, in this market, we can see a 21% change in uh, commercials positions. You can see the change uh, size over here. Uh, commercials have just gone over to uh, to net long territory, while large speculators uh, have uh, bounced down to the zero line, uh, and uh, small speculators are still bearish about the market. So. Uh, we have a bullish COT chain signal, that's for sure. And uh, oh, going going to the um, uh, the five years chart, you can see that the extreme is actually uh, not really present at the moment. So we had a bearish COT extreme uh, a few weeks ago, and that has passed away uh, without any major decline in the market. So now we would be talking about more of a a bullish extreme, actually, in relative terms, a relatively more bullish picture. Uh, may be visible in the S&P 500. Now, don't forget that we've uh, analyzed the NASDAQ last week, and uh, there we had a um, pretty obvious uh, uh, bearish uh, COT extreme. So I think it's important to state, as in uh, other markets as well, it's just, you know, you should always have a look at the correlating markets and see a more wider picture. Or, of course, you can look at the, um, the complex uh, market as well. Uh, moving to the dollar index, we have a 14% change over there in commercial positions. You can see the change size over here. Um, again, this is a bearish uh, COT change signal as we had last week. You can see that uh, we didn't really have uh, uh, any uh, effect on price, nor did we have any from the week before. So this may be just uh, simply showing us, and if we jump to the five years chart, that we are dynamically getting closer and closer towards bearish levels. Now there's still a lot of space left. You can see that on this five years chart, the most the most bearish extreme was um, uh, in the market sometime early 2015. Now we're still way uh, far away from those levels, but nevertheless, if this uh, uh, dynamics uh, continue, then of course we can reach those levels pretty fast. So in my opinion, we should uh, uh, be aware of the bullish extreme that was in the market uh, mid to 2016 and uh, of course uh, you can see that we have gone higher from those levels so this uh, this trend may continue in the COT report as well moving on to large speculator COT extreme wow we've got three markets up on um, top with all-time COT extreme starting with soybean oil let's move on to the five years chart here we go so uh, here's the all-time COT extreme in uh, large speculators. Now you can see 1,370 uh, report extreme in commercial. So that's more or less an all-time uh, extreme as well. Uh, and you can go back in time and see how well this market reacted to these bearish COT extremes. So don't forget that soybean markets are usually very um, good markets for COT analysis. Uh, they they react to these COT extreme signals pretty effectively. Uh, coffee is our next market where we have the all time not only in large speculators but also in commercials. So here's this market. Uh, not surprisingly, uh, we get this extreme after reaching such uh, such levels in the market. 
uh, you can see that we had even greater price levels uh, back in 2014 uh, but that doesn't mean that we have to reach those price levels before we reach a top so the extreme is there it's um it's it's an all-time extreme of course this may be present in the market for quite some time maybe a couple of weeks or even month before we see a uh, a, a, a a strong reaction from price but of course if you have uh, other uh, analysis tools and you see an opportunity downwards then you, you know that the co2 report it will be backing you there and then the nasdaq which i was just talking about uh, analyzing the s p that we had that bearish cot extreme and it's there you can see it's very interesting to see a very different picture here than we had in the s p market so here we have a strictly bearish um, extreme and uh, you can see that we are at a top so we may see um, a, a change in this trend coming soon Okay, that is going to be all for this review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next week. Have a great weekend. Take care. Goodbye.